So we're here at the Marvel booth here at ARM TechCon 2011. So this is a new Armada processor. Yeah, this is a, this is actually our reference design for the Armada 2128. It's a product that we've announced recently, and it's now in early shipping or early sampling to lead customers. So uh, this particular one is it's a very early software build. It's not doing a whole lot of apps yet, but there's some some very special things about this chip. So it is a dual core chip, but it's also what we call a hybrid core. And so what that has is a dual symmetric multiple processing core. So each one running at 1.2 gigahertz. Beyond that, there's actually a ultra low power core or extra low power core, which is the hybrid. And essentially the way that works is when you need when you need the gas, like in a hybrid car, and you step on the gas, when you're doing video transcoding or something that's very high powered, it'll bump up to those symmetrical processing cores. When you're just browsing the web or regular activities, it can drop down to the ultra low power core. And because Marvell does its own ARM cores, we can have the same core with the same exact construction set laid out for lower power. So we can drop to the lower power core and save a lot of power running in that. And then, of course, the dual cores are available when you need them. All right. So um, is there anything that you can say about the performance of the, or the software compatibility of the dual core? Is it going to be compatible with all other dual core ARM systems? Well, essentially everything in the ARM ecosystem is, is fairly well compatible with each other. Uh, obviously, the you know, the primary operating system that people ask for is Android, and we work very closely with Android. You know, we, we're a partner with them, so we get early access to their different operating systems. So it's fully optimized for Android, and therefore all of the apps that are in the Android market and ecosystem would run on this. But is the software compatibility maybe similar to Cortex A9? Or is it going to be... Uh... So it's the same instruction set. So it's the A9 and also the Marvell ARM compatible cores in here are all using the ARM instruction set G7. So it's all essentially compatible. All right. So we're going to see them in tablets, in any kinds of devices. It's going to be all over the place. I, I think you'll see it first coming up in tablets and then eventually rolling into other types of devices. Cool. So it was announced last year. Is this the first time you show it in a tablet prototype? I believe this is the first time we're showing it publicly. So to be honest, this is the first time I've seen this version. We've had other versions that are more of an open board. And so today, this is the first time I've actually had access to the tablet form. Factor. It's very early prototype. The, the Android is still buggy and it uh, needs to be optimized and all that. Yes. But, uh, right. So we'll check back for devices soon.